this is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength. And as you can see by the title below, I have a huge thrift haul for you. And I am so excited to share this thrift haul because I haven't done one this big in a very long time. I am just so excited to share the things that I got with you. I did go to um, Attic Treasures, which is a kind of a local thrift store, but then I also went to several Goodwills. So this is a collective thrift haul of some items that I got. And the majority of the items I got are tops. I got two dresses and then the rest are tops, but I got a lot of stuff. Then I got some non-clothing items, which I'm going to share with you first. So if you're into third hauls, go ahead, click like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload more videos. I don't know why I just decided to get outside of my comfort zone, which is good to do sometimes when you're thrift shopping. It's actually the best time to do it because you're not spending a lot of money and if it doesn't work out, you can always give it away or give it back. You guys, I got a fascinator. I am not a huge hat person, but this one was calling my name. It was calling my name because of the beautiful red. It's like a work of art. It's like a little sculpture to me. I just like the plumes and just this rose. It was just done so well. Oh my goodness. And then it's so easy to put on. There's a little clip there and I just love it. And when I think of this, I don't know why I've been thinking a lot about the royal family lately, but you know, whenever they have weddings, they're prancing around in their little fascinators and just looking too cute. And I just think they're adorable. So yeah, this is my first fascinator and I can't wait to rock this. I don't even know where I'm gonna, maybe I'll wear it to church. And I just, I'll make a statement and everybody's gonna be looking at me like, I don't believe it. she's walking up here because we don't wear hats in our congregation. Our congregation is pretty laid back, but do you wear hats? Let me know in the comments below if you wear hats to church. But I got that and this was $4. Next thing that I got is a clutch. I've been on this clutch kick lately, as you know, buying things from Shein and Amazon. And I saw this one and I just had to have it. And once I saw the designer name, I had to, had to have it because it is a Jessica McClintock. And that is a designer that was really big back in the 80s. I had a couple of dresses by Jessica McClintock. You couldn't tell me anything when I was wearing my Jessica McClintock dress. I had this one that was in lace one time and it came to the floor and it had these, um, these asymmetrical like layers in the front is just so cute and it was this really soft blush pink but I digress this is the clutch it's just a gold kind of satiny with the pleats I just think that's too nice and it opens this way and it does have a chain strap that it comes with and then this was $5.99 still have the price tag in there but yeah, I just absolutely love my Jessica McClintock clutch. This is what it looks like on the inside. And it's just too adorable. So this would be perfect for weddings or any type of evening event. Whenever things get back to normal and I'm out traveling again, this will come in handy. The next Goodwill find that I got was this gorgeous clutch. I absolutely adore it because of the embellishment of the flowers on it. It's just so beautiful. It's like, shall we go for tea, darling? Of course, darling, I'll meet you at three. It's just beautiful. But I just love that, the pearls. And I also like the little clip on top. It's just kind of bejeweled and bedazzled. And then it has this beautiful blue faux leather background. And it opens like that and has the gussets and it's satin on the inside. And this one was $8.99. It comes with a long chain strap, but then it also comes with a shorter length chain strap. So really, really cute. And I just thought this would be great for a brunch, for a wedding. And when I looked at this and opened it up, I automatically knew that this was an Amazon bag. So I looked it up online. It's still available on Amazon. If you really like this bag and you think it's cute and it's something you've just been like looking for, like something ornate, something cute, then I'll leave the link below. And this is just absolutely adorable. And I think it's like in the mid to upper 20 range online. So still a really decent price, but I got mine for $8.99. And that is 
all of the non-clothing items that I got. So we're gonna jump over to the clothing rack so you can see what I'm gonna be rocking in the try on haul. Yeah, let's do that. I almost forgot, I did pick up two other non-clothing items from Attic Treasure. I picked up this red pencil pen. I thought this was just adorable because it is red and I am an art teacher, so I thought this would be great as an accessory. And then I also picked up this letter A pen, which could stand for Audrey, or it could also be for art, A for art. And this can be worn as a pin or a pendant on a necklace. So I thought that was a nice little accessory as well. And those are two other items that I picked up. I completely forgot about two other accessories that I got. And there were two vintage belts. So you already know I'm an 80s girl, meaning that most of my childhood was in the 80s. And so I love anything 80s. And this is a nice beaded belt that is just so retro. You, this is like the disco era, wearing these like with a bodysuit and just, I just love this. I just think they're adorable. I actually have a couple others in my closet already, but you can never have too many of these like cute little embellished belts. I love them. So I got that one and then I also got one that was in a gold and black and these were $1.50, really, really cute. And now let's jump into the tops. I got a lot of them. I just want to preface by saying all the tops were $3.99. Dresses were $6. And I only got dresses and tops, okay? I think one of my tops was half off, but I can't remember which one. So let's start with, I got a lot of kind of retro style things. I got some actual vintage pieces. The first piece is a Nine West piece. I love a striped shirt, whether it's vertical or horizontal, but what really got me on this one were the sleeves. It has that little stretchiness, elastic in the sleeve, and then that kind of like bell piece on the end, which I think is adorable. I think this will look really great with jeans. I got a and away sweater, and this is like a Target brand, but it has that throwback feel. I remember uh, seeing these type sweaters in the 80s, and I just love that look. And you could wear a turtleneck up under this. You could wear a button down under this. You could wear it just by itself. So many things you could do with this. So yes, this can be layered. And I love the color of this. It's just a nice soft kind of rosy pink. Now this is a Ralph Lauren Sport and this is a plaid top with the little ruffles in the front and I remember rocking these back in the 80s everything just cycles back around and of course you know way before the 80s they were rocking these probably in the early 1800s but anyway I just absolutely love this so I could picture wearing this you know with like a um black skirt black pants boots and just you know rocking it that way with a nice jacket blazer next I have this button down. This is a Banana Republic, and I love Banana Republic brand in general. I think it's a really good quality, and I've had some other button downs by this brand and absolutely love them. So this is kind of like a melon color or a salmon color, and I just think this is just nice for layering. So I did get that. Next, I love turtlenecks and I love red. So I could not pass up on this. This is a Time and True, which is a Walmart brand. And this is just, once again, another great top for the fall and winter to layer underneath things. I got a sweater. This is a brand I haven't heard of. This is a Teen Bell. And I just got it because I like that kind of asymmetrical contrasting of the stripes and the buttons around the uh, edging. And this is just be a cute casual look for jeans because I am a jeans girl and I just love like easy throw on items and pieces. This is a Zara top. I think it's a men's top, but it was in the women's section. It's a paisley print top. And this is kind of outside of my comfort zone because I don't typically gravitate towards brown, but we're gonna see if I can spruce this up and rock this in some type of fashionable way. I got a mock turtleneck, and this is a made in the USA brand. And I'd never heard of this brand before, but it is called a More All FY, made in the USA. 
Once again, like I said, I just thought this would be great for layering. The color doesn't do anything for my skin tone, but it would look great underneath a black cardigan with some black pants, just kind of for a neutral look. Then I got, you saw in the pre-clip, a Pendleton uh, wool jacket. If you ever see this brand, guys, I'll give you a close up. Definitely buy it, especially if it doesn't have any moth holes or anything like that and it's very well made. You can see it's made in the USA pure virgin wool and I could not pass up on the color now this is a petite so on me the sleeves are just a tad bit short but everything else fits really really well it does have shoulder pads so this is a throwback but I just could not pass up on the color I got a button down this is a JC Penny stripe brand and this type print guys is really in the season I was in H&M the other day and it had several cuts of tops with this exact same kind of light blue stripe print with the blue and white and so yes this is on trend this fall so I definitely got that and this is a large so it's oversized and we'll see how I style it I really didn't have anything in mind I just remember seeing this print and I thought you know I better get it this top is another time and true which is a Walmart brand and I don't typically always shop for the specific season that I in I shop for all seasons all times if it's something I like I grab it I buy it so this would make a great spring summer top you can wear it off the shoulders or on the shoulders and I just love that embellishing on the end now at some point this did have some little bow ties on the sleeve but I guess the previous person cut them off because I see that little part there but you know that's fine by me I like it like it is without the little bows on the sleeve so moving right along this is another vintage piece that I got this is a JH collectibles size 8 blouse with the little ties in the front. I love ties in the front. And I was planning on wearing this under a blazer. It'll actually look good under that blue blazer or a black blazer, but I like anything that ties in the front. I think that's cute. Throwback to the 80s. This was one of my best finds because this is an actual Ralph Lauren. You know Ralph Lauren has different labels. You have Ralph by Ralph Lauren, which is the green label. Um, this is a blue label Ralph Lauren, so it's kind of one of the more higher ends. But I absolutely love this. This is a black cable knit mock uh, neck sweater and not quite a full length sleeve, a little over, I guess, a three quarter length and absolutely love this. So you can rock these so many ways. Great for layering once again. This was an outside of my comfort zone piece because it is, well, it's black and I love black, but this big furry fuzzy neck it's not something I would typically go for it has it on the sleeve as well but I was thinking I could probably rock this with the fascinator we'll see how that works um, but I just thought it was different and unique and so I'll see how that looks okay all right next got this oversized this is a 2x um, sweater and I got it because I wanted something that fit like a blanket nice and cozy and this is a Talbot's and it has a nice beautiful print a cream and black print it's very heavy you could wear this with leggings turtleneck jeans etc and you're ready to go and curl it by the fire I just love it all right, here's another throwback for you. Let me know in the comments below if you remember Casual Corner. My mom and I shopped at Casual Corner all the time. So this is definitely a throwback. You got the padded sleeves, nice green cardigan that I could just rock with my jeans, etc. And I just absolutely love it. Casual Corner. This is another outside of my comfort zone piece and the brand is Carol Little but I just could not pass up on this. It's got a little sass to it. It's got a little split on the side. It's got the leopard print and the ruching on the side. Asymmetrical cut off the shoulder but I just thought this would look really cute with the bag that I just recently purchased from Shein. The little brown uh, box bag. I thought that would be cute with this and some nice sandals. So like I say, I always think, you know, ahead for any season. And that is it. That's all I got. And we're going to see how all of this works. If you like try-offs, then you need to stick around because that's coming up next.
Stylings one and two, I wanted to show you how this cardigan looks both open and closed and how a simple change of color can change up the outfit altogether. So in the first look, I have my burgundy going on with my long sleeve burgundy tee and my Michael Kors burgundy booties. And I am carrying my coach saddlebag in both looks. But in the second book, I paired this cardigan with a white turtleneck and some black jeans and some black booties and a little black belt with some silver accessorizing to go with the silver hardware on the bag so as you can see both looks are very great it's all a matter of what your taste is for that day I am calling styling number three my out-of-the-box styling because this is not something I would typically wear. So I've styled this black dress with the fur detailing around the collar and arm with my black suede Unisa pumps with the ankle strap and I'm carrying my love clutch that I recently purchased off Amazon. If you have not seen the review on this bag, please check it out. I'll leave the e-card up above and then of course I'm rocking the fascinator which I am just loving so much it's just a little work of art and I'd love to hear your opinion on this styling let me know what your thoughts are is it too much how would you style this black dress what would you accessorize it with I would love to hear from you in the comments below For styling number four, I am taking a step out on the wild side in this Carol Little animal print dress, but I am loving the browns. And I think this recently purchased Chion box bag is a great complement to it. And then I've just paired it with some black Gianni Beanie sandals. So for styling number five and six, I am rocking this JH Collections vintage bow tie blouse with a black pleated Tommy Hilfiger skirt. I'm loving the length on this and then I paired it with my vintage bag craft bag and my Sam Edelman pumps. I think this is a very cute stylish look, very feminine and I think it would be office ready depending on what country you're in. I know in Korea they have shorter hemlines. As long as you're covered on the top, it's acceptable to wear a skirt this length in the office. Maybe here in America, not so much. I know I couldn't rock it at school, but I decided to pair this with the blue blazer for the second styling of this look, and I just think it complements it very well. It's just enough pop of color, and you can always buy sizes that are not typically your own, like this was a petite, but I've just scrunched up the sleeves, and it still works because the rest of the bodice fits me everywhere else. So just keep that in mind. You don't always have to get your exact size. For styling number seven, I'm keeping the same skirt on, but I've paired it with the Ralph Lauren top and I really love this plaid red and the ruffles in the front once again a very feminine look now maybe I could get away with wearing this skirt to work now with the tights and the flats it's less risque if you will and this bag is a Dooney and Bird Florentine satchel which I love and I think it pairs well with this look let me know what you think in the comments below for styling number eight, I've paired this Nine West top with a pair of jeans and some red loafers. I love the detailing on the sleeves and I've buttoned it all the way. I just think it looks more pulled together that way rather than open. There's a bit of a high-low flare to this top, which I think is very nice as well. The red patent leather loafers are by Bass and Company. And once again, I have my Dooney and Burt Florentine red satchel. For look number nine, I am rocking my casual corner vintage sweater. Look at those shoulders, guys. They are ready to knock somebody down, right? <laughs> but I absolutely love it. I just adore the 80s style. I've just paired it with some jeans and my coach 
Urban Hiker Boots, which I love, and my Coach uh, Cargo Bag. And I think they pair well. They have that same little turn lock on the shoes and the bag. And I have on my white turtleneck. So this is a very casual look, very comfortable. For Stylings 10 and 11, I'm rocking this Ralph Lauren black turtleneck with some jeans and my shoots boots and my coach Zoe satchel, but I think it needs something else. What do you think? Yes, a red jacket is what it needs to bring that vibrancy to the overall look. I love red, as you know, and this is a White House black market jacket and you can wear it buttoned or unbuttoned i think it's just a very sophisticated and polished look let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below For look number 12, I've paired this stripe asymmetrical top with the red turtleneck, the same jeans and boots from before. I switched up the handbag and pulled out my Coach ED31 hobo bag and I think they work well together. It pulls out the red of the turtleneck and this is very comfortable. And what I love about this sweater, it's very soft and it also has a little bit of button detailing on the stripe of the arm that matches the button detailing around the neck. It really is the little things in fashion that make all the difference. So I love this look. This is something that I would rock, you know, every day on an everyday type look. For styling number 14, I've paired this men's Zara Paisley shirt with the same jeans from before, the same belt, switched up the shoes. I have my Sam Edelman pumps, which are my favorite pumps, and this vintage black leather jacket, and there you have a look. I love a men's shirt, so don't forego the men's sections, ladies. And you know a men's shirt, even if it's in the woman's section, by where the buttons are. Women's buttons are on the right, men's buttons are on the left. So this is just a really comfortable top. I love the color better than I thought I you know, would like it. And I left it a little bit unbuttoned just for a little bit of sex appeal to it. You know, this would be good for date night, going out, loving this look. For look number 15, I paired this pink sweater with some light wash jeans and a pair of Tory Burch flats, which I think kind of complement the top. I know the pink is not an exact match, but they're in the same color family, so I think it will work. Let me know your thoughts. It may be a little bit off. I was thinking of pairing this with some black jeans and black shoes, but I always pair everything with black, so I was wanting to try something new. It is cheery, I do know that. For styling number 16, I have on the same pair of jeans, but I switched up the top, the shoes, and purse. So I'm wearing this striped JCPenney top button down with the jeans and my K-Swiss sneakers. And then this is the GG thrifted bag that I got, GG New York bag. And it pairs very well with the Tory Burch reversible belt on the camel color side. Very comfortable. For the Banana Republic button-down shirt, I paired it with the same jeans, added a Gap jacket, and my Converse sneakers, and my 
Metallics Coach Parker bag, and I think you have another very nice casual look. For this final styling, I've paired this embroidered top with a pair of black Old Navy jeans and just some black flats. And then the bag is the Amazon bag that is a good alternative for the LV Multi Pochette. And I've been loving this bag. It's just a really great carry. And that is all of the looks, guys. I told you it was a long haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below. You know, I'd love to hear from you. But before I go, I did want to show you how this top looks off the shoulders. So you can wear it in a different way. And there you have it. That is it. I hope you enjoyed. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to this long, massive thrift haul. Let me know in the comments below if you liked any of the items. What did you like? Have you gone thrifting? And did you step outside of your comfort zone and buy some things that you wouldn't typically buy? I would love to hear from you. I like creating dialogue. I love interacting with y'all. And thank you so much for those of you who've been with me for a very long time. I'm going into my fifth year of being on YouTube. Come um, in March, it will be five years. So thank you so much for sticking with me. And I've been growing very, very slowly, like the tortoise in the hair. I'm just going at my own little pace, but I really appreciate those who stuck with me. It means a lot. And so remember to always be a good steward of all that God has given you because he truly loves us so much. And so do I, and I will definitely be seeing you next time. Bye.